Hey Pets Wolf here, and I'm here with a review of the Microsoft, I think Sidewinder, Sidewinder, I can't pronounce it, sorry, X4. You see the, you see the title. But I've got it in a fairly, fairly dark moment to show it's got these little red lights and stuff. As you can see, it, oh, it's a bit below the camera, but it covers every button there is. And the numsock stuff and all that stuff. Anyway, it's going to cut until I'm in the d I'm light and show you about it. Okay. Um, so, first thing about this keyboard is because it's got a little shiny bits here, it gathers dust quite easily, as you can tell. Dusty. <laughs> but um, that doesn't really matter if you don't care about appearances of game, um, appearances of keyboard and things. Or you just like shiny stuff and you actually clean your stuff. Because I sometimes do, but not much. And um, this bit here, it's a little handguard, a little plastic handguard. See, a little plastic handguard. Basically, means if, you'd like, if you're using WSD, like that, you can just rest your hand here instead of having it on the table. But because of my hand size, I actually do that and end up not using it at all. Um, that's another thing that um, you probably noticed by now. These buttons here. These are the macro keys, and that's the macro selection. You can have three different sets of macros. I have it in the middle one, because that disables the Windows key, so you don't go and tap it while playing games. Which is quite good, really, because I've done that a lot of times. Because obviously, you have to say you have your little finger in the shift key, and you're um, from the space. Sometimes you just, like, flip over. Anyway, these macro keys can be used to press any buttons on the keyboard at any significant time. You can use it in and out of games. I do not use it in games, but I actually use them out of games. I've got it, so this one opens my computer. No, this one's sleep mode computer. This one opens my computer. Um, like copy, paste, control, or all, all, all that stuff, really. But you can make it so, say you're in a fighting game and there's like a 20 move combo, you can just press this button, it does it all sort of thing. It's really helpful if you do that sort of stuff. Anyway, next bit is this bit here. That's the record macro button. I'll get onto recording macros later. And, um, the back of the kit, I'll show you the back of the kit. The, uh, the wire is basically just regular wire, it's nothing fancy, nothing super emoji damage proof or something. It's just a regular wire that goes in there about, I would say, two meters long. About that long. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's also got some media keys up here. Brightness for the, that's for the, um, light, the keyboard backlight. It's three different brightnesses this is. <laughs> um, volume up and down, it's sort of obvious. Volume mute, it's obvious. These keys are if you want to play music on Windows Media Player. Obviously, next track, previous track, and play and pause. And it's got a little calculator button just up here by the numsock caps lock thingy. So, if you want, if you want someone who's got a calculator up, then yeah, that's where you, that's where you go. <laughs> okay, now I'll show you the back of the keyboard because everything else on here is pretty standard. It's not a mechanical keyboard, by if you run it with that. It's general, just normal keyboard, and it sounds like this when you tap. It's a very loud click clack 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 click and all the buttons are like that. So, um, if you're trying to go for a quiet keyboard, this is not the one for you. It's a loud keyboard, but it's strong, because so far there's no, no damage at all. And as far as I think, I'm pretty positive this is right, but I'm pretty sure the um, keys are laser etched onto this, so they won't go and wear away with all the uh, um, gaming, because obviously you're safe to doing that. One more thing, sorry. These buttons on the left, if you haven't had macro keys on the keyboard before, you will be hitting these sometimes, because I, I was doing that at first, like, because my hands were slightly off from where they used to be. But after a day or an hour or whatever, you get used to doing that, and those won't, those won't get in your way at all. Now onto the back of the keyboard. As you can tell, a little very smooth sort of plasticky type back type thing, and these little stands, they'll obviously to raise it up, but they don't raise it up by that much. If I turn it to an angle, that sort of, can you see from there? Um, no, you can't, can you? have got the wrong place there. That is pretty much how much it raises up, which is... Oh, how am I going to do this with one hand? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's pretty much just over a, fi just over a fingertip sort of um, height. Like that, see? That's just over a fingertip of height, which basically means if you want it to raise a little bit higher, like... For me, for example, I've got it just above that mouse pad. It seems to work, and the mouse pad's not very big. But if you had like a table with a lump or something in it, this is not the keyboard you want to use because it's just going to get in the way and end up wobbling the whole time. But obviously it's got the little rubber support things here, all four corners like that. There's one there, and one there. Um, that's obviously just to protect the table and make the keyboard so it doesn't slip and all that stuff. And that's pretty much everything about this keyboard I'd say. Um, it's got a fairly decent build quality because this has been dropped twice thanks to my dog. Um, 
No, she didn't play. She wasn't playing the games and dropped them. She came in and sort of like nudged, like nudged my hands and it went blah, sort of thing. And it hadn't broken yet, so it's got a good build quality. It's all like the plastic and stuff, but um, it's not going to like fall to pieces just randomly because that's like not what co game and um, not what the keyboard does somehow. Anyway, I'm going to cut to the software and show you a little bit more macros. See you in a second, Pack. Okay, Pack. Now I'm back with this screen, which is something that installed with the keyboard. And as you can tell, it has all these things. You press this button here, it tells you what keys you can customise. So, like, all these keys you can change doing something. And, yeah, this Bank Free Gaming, there's three different types, like I said with the lights earlier, top left button, the keyboard. And what you can do, you can do that, you can change all of these buttons, so, all the, like, see the buttons up there, um, up here, they're changing. But these ones, um, they, they say each one's which, and left one is disabled, obviously. But all that stuff doesn't really matter, because that's obvious. What I was going to show you is the assigned macro button, which, as you can tell in the picture, is the one that's flashing now. Okay, so what I'd do if I wanted that one to be a macro, I would click it, and this would come up. And it says, macro not yet assigned. You can make it so you disable that key entirely. You can open a new program. I once I used to have it so I opened my screen recorder, so I don't have to minimise the game. And macros, which you can go and create a new macro. And you can type it in, so if I call it Muffin for example. But I can make it so, say you're playing an MMO and you got an awesome chain move and there's like 2, 5, 1, 3. So it's like, you press 2, 5, 1, 3. And once you've got that, you and you can turn it repeat on or off, or um, off if I was you. <laughs> so I see there's a 10 second, like 10 millisecond gap between each one. You can get rid of those by right clicking to, um, and cutting them, but I prefer leaving them in there. So once that's done, that is the macro set to make sure that's ticked. Because the um, more macros you have, the more they'll be here. So you can just like edit them, copy them, open macro folders, or delete macro. And I'm gonna really quickly go on a notepad. Okay, now notepad's open. If I press the macro key I assign it to, which I think was number one, that comes up. So that is how you set macros, and that is the overview and review of the whole keyboard. I hope you enjoyed this pack. I hope it helps. Um. Tell me what you thought in the comments. If I missed anything, tell me again, like I did with the mouse. So, yeah. Um, see you next time, Hack. Wolf out.